This is Jack Rice for Air America Radio right here at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. And I'm very, very excited. We have talked to a lot of the major players, but I have been waiting for the big interview. In fact, I see this as my break. I see, see this as my true opportunity to dig deep, to ask the really hard questions. So follow me, if you will. I haven't asked in advance, so let's just see how this plays out. Come on. Now, I understand your name is Iggy. Iggy, look, it, we have to take this seriously, okay? First thing, President Obama said that we were going to close Guantanamo Bay three days after the inauguration. Tell me, should Guantanamo Bay be closed? Please. What? Now, wait a second. This is serious business. I understand you're thinking about this, and I understand there's a lot of gray here, but I really need to understand, do we close Guantanamo Bay or don't we? One more opportunity. All right. You clearly have lived on this island for a long time. We understand that there was abuse that may have taken place here. Did you see any torture? I heard there was never any waterboarding that may have that have taken place here on this island. At least that's what I have been told. But tell me the truth. You have been here. Answer my questions. I need to know. You're not helping me. Okay, let's keep going then. Who killed JFK? Who killed RFK? Is there anything you would like to tell me? Okay. I got one question and one question only. Was there any president who was worse than President Bush? Please, give me that. Because I can't imagine one. At least give me one. Is there anyone worse? I'm going to get an answer. You know what, Iggy? I agree with you. There was no worse president of the United States than President Bush. You know what? It was worth the effort to find you. Thank you very much. Nothing? Still? You know what? It's okay, because sometimes actions speak volumes. This is Jack Rice here in Guantanamo Bay with Iggy for Air America Radio.